This is our second break where we thank our producers who come in with their talent. Canary Cry News Talk is a place for therapeutic reflection of our troubling, troubling, troubling world. <laughs> and we invite everybody to uh, who has talent to express all of these things with art, music, jingles, interpretive dance. Just keep throwing that out there, uh, especially on ice. That would be fantastic. Um, <laughs> so we like to share that here because, you know, we're a community of people that all sort of see the world in a very similar way. And there's not a whole lot of us out there. And so uh, it's a good way to build community as we deal with uh, the Bill Gateses of the world telling us about the next pandemic. Um, yeah. And so uh, we're going to start things off with audio production. If I can get it to work, let's do it. Audio production. Audio productions. And uh, we have a piece from Jonathan F. We already played it. It was the monkey pox jingle. And, uh, well, let's just play it again real quick and so you guys can hear it and then I'll... Read the note. Here's Jonathan F.'s Monkey Pox. Thing. Careful opening the closet, because that's where the evil Monkey Pox lives. Monkey Pox. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Jonathan F. just said, here's the very needed jingle. Hope this fits the bill. It does. Thank you very much, Jonathan F. Very needed. Yep. That was all the music we got today, but it was a very important piece. So thank you, Jonathan F. We're going to move on to art. One art, please. <laughs> I'm going to kick it off with Dame Alley of the Skillet Nation. One art, please. One art, please. Another one from Alley now. Here it is. And Alley's piece actually refers back to our uh, 30 under 30, our, our pair of 30 under 30s we had today. Um, she just happened to uh, cover the Kentucky Fried Billionaire. The same story we just covered right before the first break, which was the crypto billionaire could spend $1 billion for Democrats in 2024. And it was, of course, uh, talking about crypto billionaire Sam Bankman Freed. And um, yeah, Ali does the portrait here of of Sam, Mr. Central Bank Man Freed. Yeah, very well. He's a crazy looking guy. He's got his big, crazy hair, as as any 30-year-old billionaire would. Uh, and it's very well done, Allie. Thank you very much. Uh, got those shiny eyeballs, and if you peer into them long enough, you can start to see them take the shape of his uh, his new lizard compatriots. Yeah, those little irises, or the pupils, yeah. whatever what it was called. Yeah. 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 Thank yeah. you very much, Dame Allie. Thank you, Love Dame it. Allie. Very Sorry, good. we're kind of going to need to, we are kind yeah, of a little late zo today. zooming through here. Yeah. Yep. Uh, appreciate that. All right, we're going to go to Sir Dove, Knight of Rusbeltia. And Dove has a note here. Peace for this week's NWO Fantasy League update. We've got some promo art for the first ever Super Bowl of Wrath. <laughs> Will the Islanders coach come out of his rumored early retirement and take the Lunar Raid bath after leading his team to victory and etching their names in history? We'll have to wait and see. Hope you guys like it. Keep doing what you do, and I'll keep praying for you. Wow, so many references oh, in there. Amazing. It's amazing. Impossible to even go through them all. But yes, we've got Fantasy League Super Bowl of Wrath one from the New World Order Fantasy League. And yeah, the team, the Islanders. They're kind of wearing the what is the this is the kind of the team colors of the what are they? The Gators? Miami no, the Miami Dolphins. Dolphins. Yeah. It's like the Miami Dolphins like a colors. Teal and orange. Yeah, which is, you know, relevant. Yeah. Uh, but they're called the Islanders, and we've got Coach Epstein there getting <laughs> getting the Lunar Raid, which is another deep cut, bath thrown over him. In the back, you can see assistant coach... Uh, uh, Gislaine Max Maxwell. Gislaine Maxwell. <laughs> oh, gosh. We've got uh, <laughs> uh, Bill Clinton here in the front. He's just so ecstatic to have done so well in the New World Order this year. Who is that back there? I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know. Yeah. I was trying to think. Like, I know we got a Bill Gates thing. Maybe it's Bill Gates, but he's not wearing he's, glasses. Yeah, not wearing glasses. His look, glasses hair looks there. a little maybe too dark or too, I'm not too dark, but too gray. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a good. Oh, maybe uh, Mike Pen Pence. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. We might need a. Well, who, might else, need a who, who else is part of the Epstein conversation? That, who uh, isn't? Well, that's true. You're right. <laughs> uh. 
But yeah. somebody, well, it's got to be somebody that's related to that whole topic there. But hmm. yeah. Hmm. Well, anyways, and it, it's just an incredible piece of art. Definitely will be used uh, for the marketing of you know the the world's next largest uh, sports franchise, the New World Order Fantasy League. Fantastic! Oh, I have a jingle for that. It is a New World Order Fantasy League. They're all one hundred percent eugenics, transhumanist lizards that control everything. They hate you. <laughs> they do they do thank, thank you very thank much you, sir dove sir dove all right next up we have trevor m who came in he's got a note my name is trevor m this is a little rough but i thought it was funny i'm a textile designer and supporter of the show going to try to produce some funny political art when i get some more time thank you both for all you do love you guys trevor and uh let's see let me pull it up real quick sorry i had i should have pulled it up before i read it but it's a. Uh, it's titled, uh, tr- uh, Behold This. <laughs> <laughs> and it yes, is a picture. To... Yeah, it's a picture of the uh, seven-headed beast uh, that comes out of the sea. And um, the heads of each uh, beast, uh, or I guess the heads of the beast, include Klaus Schwab, uh, Obama, uh, Pocahontas, uh, is that Tedros from the World Health Organization? That. Yeah, that's Tedros. Uh, Biden. Oh, I already said, did I ever say Biden already? No. Nope. Uh, so there's Biden, and then the, the, the little horn is um, oh, what was his name? The uh, Republican. Uh, I'm forgetting his name. It's funny you're calling him a little horn. That's a that is a uh, that's Mitch McConnell Mitch as a McConnell. turtle. Turtle. The, oh, okay. Yeah, that's the a turtle, turtle the riding turtle on the back. Right, yeah. right, right. Okay, and then we have the the woke. Meme girl, meme girl, the, well, the screen screaming when Trump meme got girl. elected. Yeah. So that's the the uh, seven heads, apparently. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank Wonderfully you. done, Trevor. <laughs> Appreciate it, Trevor. And yeah, I mean, uh, anytime there's you know political art like this, it's funny. Yeah, um, it's always a good time. Yeah. So thank you very much, Trevor M. Looking forward to more from you. Uh, and we got one more from Mister Jag. Mister Jag coming in. He's got a note here. I had an unusual dream a couple weeks ago. I'm not into explaining dreams a lot or even care about dreams, but this was different. I was uh, almost like it really happened. I was sitting at a table, and a counterfeit Gons was sitting in front of me, convincing me that I need to stop all my activities regarding Canary Cry. Yeah, that's when you know it's definitely not me, because, you know, I would not tell you that. Mm-hmm. It was fairly easy to recognize that I'm not look I'm not talking to Gons, although it looked just like Gons, but apart from the eyes, another character walked around the table wearing a suit but never saw the face. The second person felt like a lot more of a threat, but just kept walking. I was puzzled why would such a thing happen to me as I am literally the least talented artist, only producing sketches, not even full drawings, not even <laughs> be able to give back as much as I should. Um, Mr. Jag hard on himself. This was something difficult to shake off. It took some prayers and fasting, and this sketch took unusually long time to produce. If possible, I would like to request a prayer, please. Additionally, last week was my birthday. Gons, I'm just a few months younger than you. Thank you very much, Mr. Jag, and we'll call the producers. Well, that was the idea, to call the producers in that moment. It's not really working out. Where's my where's my producers? Hold on. Uh... Uh, it is, it, why? It, 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 Everything's <laughs> stuck. <laughs> the voice is totally giving out. Producers, assemble! Yes, and uh, this Basil's voice is falling, failing. Yep. So uh, yeah, it's a sketch of me with crazy demonic lizard eyes. Mm-hmm. Don't know how I Very feel about well that. Very well done. <laughs> no. It's not you, Guns. It's an imposter. I don't like being used like this. An imposter. Thank you very much, Mr. Jack. Really appreciate you uh, sending your stuff in. Yep. Crazy dream, too. Yeah, pretty wild. And yes, uh, we'll be praying away any kind of demonic influence that is uh, approaching you in the evenings there. Indeed. All right. um, That's it for the art. We got a microfiction. 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 And today's microfiction is from Wrong Smash. Wrong. Wrong Smash. And 
I'm gonna have to stall for one second because I gotta get this going. Stop, stop, stop. Mom, it's time to Monty, sneaking out, goes to the wisest of animals, prostrating himself before her and reverentially says, Oh, great Kevin, daughter of Kevin, son of Kevin, (laughs) please tell me what to do. The woman Papa left to watch over us worships Big Mouse. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still not sure who the woman is. Is it is it a robot woman? Oh, maybe. Maybe it's destiny. I, I'm trying to figure out if I missed something in a previous microfiction or if we have yet to the reveal. You know, I don't I don't want to get anxious. Right. Like, I'm 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 happy to wait. Thank you to everybody who created art of different and varying uh, varieties for this episode of the show. Uh, We love it very much, and so do the rest of the producers. If you are an artist or creative person of any fashion, maybe you're a musician or a graphic artist or a... uh, uh, interpretive dancer, whatever you might be, make something for the show, send it on into the show. We'd love to feature it on the show. You can send it on into Canary Cry Radio at gmail.com. It's that easy, folks. Come on now, get to it. <laughs>